Hey guys, it's the Sketch Monkey here with a brand new video for you and this video is going to be kind of short. I'm just going to uh, talk about some questions that uh, I got in the last video about curves and how to sketch curves and what to think about. So uh, there are a few basic things to think about when you're sketching curves. Uh, I've been talking about these things before, but I, I can make uh, this is kind of a more specific video towards uh, that problem. So what you first of all, what you want to think about is to once you have a obviously a pen and paper, what you want to think about is to keep the uh, the wrist locked. So even if you're sketching a tiny curve, you always want to keep your your elbow moving and your shoulder moving, but you want to keep your wrist locked. So I'm not going to move this at all. I want to keep that steady. And then we just start to make curves. Like that, right? Very, very simple curves. Now this is a uh, uh, the 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 bend of the curve is uh, the the same all over, so it's kind of is pretty e pretty easy to sketch these kind of curves. But let's say you want to do a curve that's a bit more challenging to sketch. So what you want to do then is to mentally put out a couple of dots like this, for example, and you don't have to put them out. Uh, uh, you know, put them down on the paper. You can just have them in your head, uh, kind of where you want the curve to go. And then you you want to try to follow these uh, somewhat. You know, same thing here. The faster you go, the uh, smoother the lines. And uh, as you can see here, I'm still keeping my 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 wrist locked. I'm not moving that at all, and I'm almost sketching from my shoulder because uh, the how to explain it the uh, uh, the the pivot point is far away from the end result if that makes sense so my pivot point is up here my shoulder and it's far away from the tip of the pen and so it has time to stabilize all the way from my shoulder to the pen tip now, if I were sketching with my, my wrist like this, I mean, I, I don't even know how to do this because it's going to be very uh, weird to sketch. Like, I, I don't even know how to do it, but let's say I'm sketching with my, with my wrist like this. You know, it gets very, very tricky to keep it steady because there is not a lot of room here for sta to stabilize the pen. It, th you have this distance compared to almost a meter up to your shoulder. Um, so that's the main thing when you're sketching uh, curves. And pretty much that pretty much goes for any type of shape that you're sketching. Even if you're sketching circles or ellipses like this, you still want to keep the, the wrist locked. And it doesn't matter how small the ellipse is or how small the curves. You still want to keep the wrist locked, and then we can make some some lines just to connect these, like that, maybe, maybe something like that. Add some line weight to this, so I'm just going over the same, at least trying to get over the same uh, lines over and over to add some weight to this. And this obviously goes is the same with markers. So let's say that we want to add some markers to this have a couple of red ones here that should be all good to go and not dry hopefully so let's say we want to add some markers uh, to this shape right here and which is a curve so I want to add some to this down here uh, same thing here we just want to keep the I uh, want to keep the uh, the wrist steady stable And then just, you know, do the same lines depending on the shape of what, what, what we're sketching, obviously. Uh, we need to uh, keep in mind where the light source is and so on, as, as always. But uh, the, the basic is still the same. We can go into a darker shade. Let's see, if, let's see what this looks like. I think this is... Eh, it might work. And we 
can add some even more depth to that um, baseline right there. So I'm still I'm still using curves here. Even, uh, it's getting straighter and straighter because I'm getting closer to the middle of this shape. So this should also straighten out somehow. Something like this. Now these uh, two shades uh, are a, one is red and one is orange. So that was not the idea. Maybe we can use this to get some more life in here. Now let's make a outline as well. I think I'm gonna make this. So this just turned into a marker tutorial now. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's still about curves, I guess. Let's say it's still about curves. Just adding some random reflections in there. Uh, let's see if we have a, I want a, even darker, now I'm into this. Um, I think this is pink actually, or dark. Dark purple? Huh. It gives it a bit of a different tone. And last but not least, we want to add some black outline to this thing. Which is also a curve. And here you can actually go slower because it doesn't matter if it's if it gets uh, not super smooth because we're gonna go over this line several times. So we're gonna even out all the small bumps and stuff like that by doing this, what I'm doing right now, which is going over this a second time like that and it depends it depends on what kind of style you're looking for uh, when you're sketching but you can go all the way around with the black which is I think more of a more of a illustrative if you're illustrating something and don't want it to look super real then you might want to add a black thick highlight all around here But I do always like to keep the uh, the baseline thick because it gives a, it gives a sense of depth and weight to the whatever whatever it is you're sketching. I'm gonna add some highlights to this. Maybe one. Is this the wrong? There we go. And some burn points because why not? You know, just have fun with it and experiment with the reflections. And a good way of doing that is to just look at uh, real objects and look how they are, how they uh, reflect the light. And uh, that's the best way to learn, I would say, is to look at real objects and check them out and then try to copy that in your sketches yourself. Let's see what this is. What kind of pen is this? Oh, it's like a f super fine liner. Uh, that's about it. So I think uh, that was all about the sketching with curves so to uh, to sum it up I guess is to keep your wrist uh, locked when you're sketching that's 
pretty much 90% of getting smooth curves and lines and then put out your your uh, dots like this and then just practice over and over try to hit the same line and this is going to take a long time to to learn and get used to because you have to you have to build up the the uh, you know the the uh, the muscles and the and the connection between your brain and your hand and that's that takes a long time to do But I mean if you do it every single day for a year and then you look back to your first sketch and uh, You look at your last sketch on day 365 You're gonna definitely see a huge improvement So I hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if it wasn't helpful a dislike is equally important as a like so hit the dislike button if this was not a good video and I uh, hope to see you next time take it easy guys